most of them, it's the hardest thing they've ever done. Ever. It's very hard to stay completely focused because you've got so many other things to worry about. Your aches and pains, or you're hungry, or oh my god, it's 500 degrees. It's kind of where we're at. You guys got to commit to doing it right every time, and we're not doing that. Because you can do it great, and you have a million times. All right, we gotta grab water. Grab a drink. So tell me about this thing that's on here. Well, it's measuring mainly motion-based directions, and they're gonna use that as well as the velocity I have to determine the energy output I have. Oh, look at now he's the first one back. <laughs> and we'll see how it compares so he can use it in his research. This little device is about six or seven hundred dollars. So. Six or seven hundred dollars. It's like the Jeff Sactic 3000. Can't miss any of my dots. Yeah, it's, it's a triaxial accelerometer. So this is going to measure all of your motion. And it's and got a little timing device. So we'll also get intensity. So we know how far you move, we know how fast you did it, and we know what your intensity is. It's drum corps, man. It's, it's more than a sport. We live for it. As you can see, I'm, I'm not sweating at all right now. I feel great. How's that feel? Too tight? But it's good. Is that going to interfere with your harness? Is that going to hurt you? I've been pushing pretty hard, as normal cadets are. No, I'll be fine. You'll be wearing that all day till, until you get on the bus tonight to go to Ocean Springs. Well, as you see how we operate during visual ensemble in the morning, always running, sprinting back to sets, then you go to sectionals, and. Colin kills us. We always have to get better every rep. We sprint back even faster than we did in visual ensemble. Everything has to be perfect reps, mentally and physically. And that's what we're hoping for, so we can come to a great show. No, that's, that's good. to play like you're tracking. You're just not playing to the feet. Down. Again. This is the hardest stuff I've been around. I've been teaching for seven years now. It's the hardest drill for sure. And when you get that stuff, I mean, drill automatically makes what you're doing way harder. So it's at the, the top level, without a doubt. They've done studies, I think it was back in 93. They did ran studies on actually a quad drummer, and he was putting out physical results the same as a person who's running a marathon. So it's, it's of the highest level of physical usage, I guess. It's a difficult activity. We're striving for perfection. Anybody that's at the top of their game, whether it's in this activity or any other activity or sport, they're out there pushing themselves to the highest level all the time. And in this activity, it just means that you're pushing your body to the limits. So try to, uh, you know, try to just talk to them as, as people and, and coach them through it, because I've been there. You know, it took coaching for me too, and so I've got to do the same thing for them. We need to put this in the drill. Set up letter F, please. It's, it's incredible. I mean, the payoff really is, is really the end when, when you're not out there in their face and they're just doing it on their own. 
and they come off and seeing how it's affected them and how they they know that they've been able to do it on their own and reach such a high level of playing. That, that's where it's at for me. And that's the process of getting there. I love running around in, in the hot weather and, and, and getting people to, to do things they didn't think they could do. G was great. Do that every time. That's good. 